kind of mentioning earlier how, uh, or actually, I don't know if it was this video or the one before, I'm tired, I don't remember, but I was mentioning how, you know, I like the way this uh, transformation is done, everything snaps into place really nice, you guys will get to see that, um, yeah, so we'll get started. Uh, what I like to do is just get rid of these feet, you can leave them hanging off the back of uh, God Sigma's legs, but I just take them off, don't want them, don't need them. And they come off pretty easily. You just pull the foot back. And it pops right out. It's meant to pop out. Uh, in case you want to do, uh, you know, cartoon accurate. But here's that big metal chunk that's used for the feet. You don't want to forget the fist compartment here or the uh, forearms. Now this forearm here. If you pop this panel open, you'll see. God Sigma's fist is in here. Pull it out. Snap this back in. Voila. Now the way the arms are done are pretty interesting. Uh, might want to move this like that so it doesn't clang into the head here. You don't need to. You'll figure out how to do it. But uh, you bring up this section and as you're doing that bring down the arm. So now you've extended the side here. You'll see that and do the same with the other side bring it down there you go and you'll see the nice little metal ratchet there okay you'll notice I didn't move this side because I already know how to do it next would be the legs now if you guys saw the pictures of the prototypes the legs were all scratched up here mine has markings but that's how it came from the factory so um, basically these legs have to come up into this piece here which is pretty cool because aside from these holes it's pretty much a solid area so it's really neat how they uh, work this out and basically you gotta pull these black things out and they're kinda tough to do but I've noticed if I start to bend this leg up like or here somewhere that when it snaps here it actually pulls this piece out I don't know if that's what it's meant to do it pops out uh, maybe it's meant to do that maybe it's not instructions aren't really too uh, specific as to what happens there but same thing fold that in get it to pop out you find an easier way to do it because I don't want to break it let me know and then you got this now you have hollow legs and here's where the cool part comes in you fold this up make sure it's lined up so you're not scratching uh, you're not scratching the silver there anywhere and bring this up and snap it in boom so you'll see there's a slight clearance here and very slight there which is why it's important to make sure it's lined up so you don't scratch that part of the leg because when you have it in robot mode you'll see all the scratches here so we're gonna do the same for this side make sure everything's lined up and snap it in voila excellent pretty cool stuff right and you're gonna want to get those fists and put them on. I was thinking of doing that whole Daltania style uh, you know transformation like I did for Collection DX but uh, that would take me forever and time is something I do not have right now guys I just had a baby so if you guys have babies um, you know what it's like but you're basically putting that on and you have this little stumpy robot so we're gonna move on to the legs show you how to form the legs now this guy here too also has like a nice little origami style you know uh, transformation I want to straighten out his feet I think you can start at any position you want I just like to start at the feet but you'll see these uh, hinges here which are metal uh, they're offset so that when you bring this in they don't obviously collide with each other and make transformation impossible 
then you just snap that together get a nice solid snap and again as long as everything's lined up you can go ahead and bring this down oh actually not yet don't bring that down yet I lied bring the arms up what we have to do is actually bring these panels down okay like so then there's a little u-shape there which allows you to put your nail and grab that panel bring it back like so so basically what you're doing is just basically I said basically many times uh, what you're doing is opening this up to make space for the hands or the arms <clears throat> when you bring the arms down uh, it's going to be flush with everything here and it, it's kind of difficult to take out uh, when you're putting it back in regular robot mode uh, so you can take the face off if you'd like um, so you're going to go ahead and bring this panel up now you've opened everything up so you're going to bring the entire arm section down and make sure everything's lined up since this is my robot I will take the fist off make my life a little bit easier and close this up close that up and now everything's nice and closed same thing on this side leave the fist on if you want I'll take mine off it snaps right in really nice bring this panel up close that and now you can bring that section down make sure everything's lined up just saves a lot of headaches in the future there you go this snaps down very tiny gap here so don't slam it down because you will start chipping at the crotch a very slight gap out back so Bandai has really uh, I guess taken into consideration you know the scratching aspect or the prevention of uh, you can also leave the head here I'm not going to no need to do it and I'd rather not have a little antenna sticking out the side of the leg which you'll see later bring this out and you'll see that this has like a little gray plastic piece which you're gonna pull out here snap that back into place go out back and pull out this tab here now it's got these two plastic things which are pretty firm this is what actually holds the leg to the robot which seems a little cheesy and a little I don't know like delicate but um, you'll see that it's not so we got one leg formed you go ahead and do the other guy the blue guy this is uh, Ocean King I guess I think yeah anyway same thing straighten the legs feet whatever uh, bring this in snap it together boom sure everything's cool uh, basically it's the same exact thing as the yellow guy so I'm going to show you guys anyway I'm going to do it quick so we can get to the cool part bring these panels up okay arms down fists off fists off like I said the fists I take off uh, does make it a little bit easier once this is in here if the fist is occupying a space it's a little harder to grab on unless there's some kind of button or something which releases it I don't think so snap that back same thing here I will remove the fist It, actually these aren't the ones that uh, that go in here by the way they're you're supposed to replace them with the closed fists which will fit in there maybe that's why I had so much trouble in the beginning but uh, I don't have this quite lined up here there we go snap that in snap that and this you got to even amount of force on both sides you don't want this going down in an angle again try and keep uh, scratchies from happening bring that down it snaps right down that way you know it's all ready and again I will take the head off you don't need to 
and bring this gray piece out close that bring this gray piece up and now you have the legs uh, this one goes here Voltron style so let's move this up a bit because what we're going to do now is bring out the main body where is he? here he is and it actually snaps in really nice you'll see boom very nice satisfying snap there so there he is uh, we're still not finished yet obviously he's missing his chest area section piece and I'll get that right now clear some space over here uh, here we got big wing I was telling you before it has a die cast and everything what you want to do is bring this part down and then unfold the bracket I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. Let me move this out of the way. The camera doesn't want to focus. And this bracket, you fold. You want to be careful not to put too much stress on the plastic piece because the metal is really sturdy. Then you got this. This is the chest piece. This is the head goes through here. And this becomes the back of God Sigma. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Make sure everything is straight because this is important. Otherwise, this belt here won't line up. This is a little tricky. I may have to stop the video to do this. But uh, fit it over his head. Oh, actually. Bam, first try. Alright, not bad. Now, the first time I was doing it, this belt, uh, since I didn't have it lined up correctly up top, it wasn't going down all the way. So the belt was kind of scuffing up against the red here. It didn't do anything. Um, even though it is, it does look painted, but it didn't do anything to the paint. But it's just something you're going to want to look out for, for people that get annoyed with scratches. I do, especially on something this expensive. Really, I mean, who wants to scratch it up? And, don't want to forget the back here. This little tab is going to tab right into this whole layer. And, very simply, snaps right in. And there you have the God Sigma. And then bring the wings up, snap right into place. I know a lot of you guys probably did notice he has teeny, 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 teeny little fists. Um, he does have alternate fists. Uh, he's got weapon holding hands, open hands. They're all a lot bigger than the ones uh, I'm showing you guys here. And you remember I said the little antenna would stick out. Uh, in combined form. This is where the antenna on a blue robot would stick out. This little slit here. I don't want them sticking out there. They're PVC. If I happen to grab it from here I might snap the antenna in half so I leave it out. So that's pretty much it guys. This is God Sigma. Excellent, excellent robot. Uh, as you can see it's just excellent paint apps. They're very sharp. There's no overspray whatsoever. No weird mode lines. Nothing. This is just spectacular. Um, I love this prism kind of chest piece here. It's just beautiful. Um, I was going to talk about the feet in the back. Um, I chose not to use the feet, but if you wanted to, this is basically what it would look like. You would have this back here, except you'd have two of them. Uh, I don't know if they turn around or whatever, but that looks kind of ugly to me. So I chose not to do that, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the small review. I apologize for the lack of detail in my reviews lately, but I don't have a lot of time to do these. Make sure you check out the blog, rocketpuncharmy.com, uh, for some more photos and whatnot and all the crazy stuff. Yeah, thanks for checking it out, guys, and uh, see you later. Bye.